Contemporary Amperex Technology Company Limited, better known as Cal, is the world's largest manufacturer of batteries. This Chinese powerhouse is considered to hold a dominant, near-monopolistic position in the global battery market, largely due to its unmatched innovation in production scale. It's no exaggeration to say CIDL is a critical player in the transition to electric mobility. Their batteries are widely regarded as some of the most advanced and reliable in the industry. Tesla uses them, as do many other leading electric vehicle EV manufacturers. What's happening now is not just speculation, it's a real and present shift in battery technology. CATL has recently announced a breakthrough that could define the next generation of EV performance. This isn't merely about incremental gains. We're talking about potentially revolutionary improvements to energy storage systems. Over the next 12 months, the batteries developed through this new technology could begin making their way into commercial electric vehicles and the impact will be huge. KTL's innovation lies in their development of a new lithium metal battery. To put that in perspective, it's a significant leap forward. Consider a popular EV like the Tesla Model 3 or BYD SEAL. These vehicles typically use battery packs with energy capacities of around 70 kilowatt hours, KBDMOH. With KTL's new batteries, you could feasibly get over 1,000 kilometers, approximately 620 miles, that's a level of range that would make EVs truly competitive, even superior, compared to most combustion engine vehicles. And this is not some vague, future-facing prediction. Cal has made it clear this battery is not just a lab concept. It is something they fully intend to bring to market. Unlike some companies that announce theoretical advancements that never materialize, CATL's track record shows that when they make bold claims, they typically follow through. According to CATL, the breakthrough was made possible through a technique they call quantitative mapping, which allowed them to dive deep into the internal chemistry of lithium metal batteries and understand the exact mechanisms behind battery degradation. This new method enabled the team to analyze how active lithium and the electrolyte components behave throughout the battery's life cycle. By doing so, they transformed the black box of battery failure into a white box of knowledge identifying specific causes and finding ways to address them. Historically, lithium metal batteries, while known for their high energy density, have suffered from short lifespans and issues like dendrite formation, which can lead to safety concerns and reduced performance. Many experts have considered lithium metal batteries to be the next step in battery evolution, but their limitations have made commercial viability a challenge. They have identified that the real reason for battery failure is not what was previously thought. Instead of problems like the accumulation of dead lithium or general solvent breakdown being the primary culprits, the main issue is actually the continual consumption of the electrolyte salt, specifically lithium by E fluorosulfonyl imide. CATL found that by the time a battery fails, up to 71% of this salt has been consumed. Armed with this knowledge, CATL has focused its efforts on enhancing the durability of the electrolyte. They developed a new electrolyte formula with a lower molecular weight, which increased the concentration of active salt, improved ionic conductivity, and reduced the viscosity of the fluid, all without increasing the overall mass. These changes collectively resulted in a prototype battery that lasted twice as long as earlier versions. This is a massive step forward. Let's break that down a bit more. A battery's life cycle is typically measured in the number of charge and discharge cycles it can handle. The prototype lithium metal battery developed by CATL lasted 483 full cycles. While that may not sound like a lot compared to some lithium ion batteries, it's actually an impressive number considering the high energy density. Most lithium metal prototypes fail well before that point. This kind of improvement in cycle life, especially when paired with such a high energy density, means we're inching closer to commercializing a battery that can deliver exceptional range. For context, solid state batteries, currently the gold standard in next-gen battery discussions, achieve energy densities around 375 watt hours per kilogram. That's already a big leap compared to standard lithium iron phosphate LFP batteries used in many affordable EVs today. Those typically offer energy densities of 150 to 180 watt hours per kilogram. But CATL's new lithium metal battery is around 33% more energy dense than even the most advanced solid state options. That's a staggering jump that could reshape what we expect from EV performance. Cal believes these new batteries won't just benefit passenger cars. 
Their high power output and long range make them ideal for high-end applications, such as electric supercars, race vehicles, and even electric aviation. Yes, flying electric aircraft. With this kind of energy density and improved lifespan, all electric air travel becomes significantly more viable. Of course, CATL admits that there is still a long road ahead. While the prototype is promising, they need to refine it further. But based on how they've handled past advancements, the outlook is optimistic. CATL doesn't develop things they don't intend to produce. Every new product in their pipeline has a clear path to mass manufacturing. It challenges the conventional idea that you must trade off between energy density and battery lifespan. By re-engineering the electrolyte, they've taken steps toward making batteries that are both powerful and durable. So what does this mean for the average consumer or EV enthusiast? It means that over the next five to 10 years, we're gonna see some dramatic changes in electric vehicles. While these new batteries may not hit the market within the next year, they are very likely to be commercially available by the early 2030s. This timeline aligns closely with global regulatory changes. By 2035, multiple regions around the world, including the European Union, parts of the United States, 15 states to be exact, Canada, the United Kingdom, and China, will have implemented bans on the sale of new internal combustion engine, ICE vehicles. China is expected to phase them out even sooner. That makes the development of long-range, high-performance EV batteries even more crucial. Pair this with advancements in charging technology. China already has charging systems offering over 1,000 kilowatts, and newer systems are pushing 1,300 kilowatts, and the future of transportation starts to look radically different. Fast charging, combined with batteries that can deliver triple today's range in the same space, means EVs will not only match ICE vehicles, they'll outperform them in nearly every category. Looking ahead, Average energy densities in EV batteries are expected to reach at least 300 watt-hours per kilogram by 2035. This would effectively double the range of most current EVs, even without increasing battery size. But with lithium metal batteries like CATLs, we're talking about potentially tripling that range. A car that currently travels 400 kilometers on a charge could one day reach 1,200 kilometers with no significant change in weight or size, CATL's lithium metal battery is a signpost to the future. A future where EVs are more powerful, longer lasting, and capable of outperforming traditional cars in nearly every way. Whether it's for road vehicles, aircraft, or even home energy storage systems, the potential of these batteries is enormous. This isn't just an upgrade. It's the beginning of a technological leap that could reshape entire industries.